Now, if we are going to talk about forces, we need to discuss what types of forces uh, that are usually present when we deal with motion problems. Okay, probably I should not have had the normal on top there, uh, but since it's there, this force here, what we call the normal force. Uh, the word normal in this case means perpendicular. It means perpendicular. Uh, it does not mean normal versus abnormal. We have a normal force whenever we have a contact force between two objects. Whenever two objects touch, there is a normal force. And it is always perpendicular to the contact surface. Now, if I have, let's say, a table, and I put a block on top of it, one of the forces acting on it is going to be the normal force acting on the block. The table is going to exert a normal force on the book that's going to be perpendicular to the table. And usually we label it F sub n, F for the force and N for the normal. It's going to be perpendicular to the table acting on the block that way. Now, if I put a block along an incline, then the incline is going to exert a normal force on the block and the normal force is going to be perpendicular to the incline. That's why we call it normal. It's going to look like that. Now, what about if I have something pushing against a wall like this? Then the wall is going to exert a normal force on it, and the normal force is going to be perpendicular to the wall, uh, to the interface between the block and the wall. That's the normal force. Okay. Now, what's the normal force do to? Just both surfaces repelling each other. We'll get to that later on. I'll try to explain it later on. Another force that's quite often present is the gravitational force, or the weight. And we calculate it as mg, and it is always along the vertical and pointing downwards. So if we go back to the example of the block on the table, the gravitational force is going to be pointing down this way. If I have a block against the wall, gravitational force is still pointing down, vertically downwards. If I have the block along the incline, the gravitational force is still going to point straight down. It does not matter if we are on an incline or wherever we are, the gravitational force is going to be straight down. And then there is friction. Whenever two surfaces rub against each other, we are going to have a friction force. And we'll talk about that later. And then, whenever we pull on something with a strain, there is a force that we are going to call the tension force the force along the string. Now, the nice thing about a force along a string, we can apply it, for example, if I take this case here and have a pulley and pull on it this way. This is my pull. So, I'm going to exert a tension here along the string on the block. So with the tension, it's going to be able to follow the direction of the string that we use. So it is pliable. And one nice thing about the tension, in this case, uh, whenever we have a perfect pulley, no friction in the pulley, it's going to be the same throughout the string. So I have the same tension here as here, as in the other side there. That's one nice thing. Okay, uh, let's stop here for now. Uh, we'll talk more about these forces and applications of these forces in the next recording.